Um, psych, uh, there's still something I want to do. So yeah, we're not going to Fortree yet. Um, as you may know, the, uh, water routes around Slateport and Duford and Pedalburg and whatnot are now open for exploration, and there's super awesome fancy place that we can go that I kind of want to explore. It's completely useless. You don't have to go there to beat the game, but I don't know. I don't want to commit to going somewhere yet. Anyway, avoiding the wild battles, there's plenty of tr uh, trainers around here. But this is the place, the abandoned ship. It's, uh, once you have dive, you can explore a little more thoroughly, but it's still a pretty cool place, I think. Uh, I like the concept, and I'm probably not going to come back later, so... Yeah. Decent amount of, uh... Trainer capabilities. You thought I was a mo- what? Oh. Um... So yeah, for some reason an abandoned ship isn't really abandoned, because there are a ton of people around it. Um... You may have seen- Oh yeah, there are horsey in the... Uh, home decks. I completely forgot about that. Weird. And who over here? There's that. Life preservers everywhere. Bed still perfectly made. Old guy. Yes, there are other cabins. You honestly couldn't figure that out. Anywho, out here, and in here. And the harbor mail, because we don't care. Anywho, this, uh, in here? It's locked, oh my gosh. And in here, there's a fat guy who's probably throwing up. Yeah, I thought so. So I'm pretty sure wild Pokemon don't appear, although there are trainers. Ooh, it's a Sveal. I like Sveal. They're huggable and round and... Ooh. Oh, and I'm choke. This could be potentially disastrous. Okay, no, that's not. And over here, we would, this is where you would dive. And over here, we got an escape rope. And I guess this is open. Take that. Dive ball could be potentially useful for you guys. So yeah, it's, it actually kind of feels like an abandoned ship, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, this guy is a Meryl. He's weird. Anywho, basically, your main goal in this little dungeon of sorts is to get into that storage room, because it's got a special thingamajig in it. And God damn you, people. Got a special thing majig in it. I think it's like something having to do with ships and navigation and whatnot. And uh, basically, you'll want to, uh, if you give it to the Captain Stern, I guess his name is, he will give you the either a deep sea deep sea tooth or deep sea scale, depending on your on what you choose, I guess. You can choose between a deep sea tooth or deep sea scale. I'm sorry, I, I had a brain fart. <coughs> um, yeah, I should heal that. And basically, those are used to heal. I mean, not to heal. Oh my god, evolve Clam Pearl into various things. Of course, since you don't get a Clam Pearl at this point, kind of not matters. Now I'm gonna avoid that through here and up here. Aha! Who's this? Storage key. Wait, so you don't need dive to complete that? There's something in the dive area. Maybe it's like a water stone or something. Anywho, storage key. Now we got the storage key. Oh, this is the ice beam TM. So yeah, the scanner, I guess, is what you find by diving or something. Whatever. Not a big deal. I thought there was more to this dungeon, but... Oh, well. So anywho, that takes care of the van ship. Let's heal, set up repel. I guess we can do a couple trainer battles just because I've got time. If you're bored by large amounts of trainer battles, you're not alone. So um, for the rest of the segment, I'll be putting music over it starting right after this battle. So I'll chime in a little bit later. 
Hey folks, Datai from the future here, once again speaking over a section of gameplay that my past self did not want to talk over. Now, here we are on one of the Hoenn region's much beloved and much despised water routes. There, there's been controversy over the, the Hoenn region's use of water. There's the, uh, it's thematically fitting because Kyogre versus Groudon, water versus land, aqua versus magma thing that the entire game has going, and having that reflected in the geography of the region is a pretty clever way of making that theme present in every aspect of the game. There's also the fact that most of the water routes in the game are BORING! INCREDIBLY BORING! They are so boring, oh my goodness! They're so boring, you don't even know. So, look, I understand that moving around a Pokemon overworld is usually not the most thrilling endeavor. It's not a tactile, satisfying experience, you know? You're just moving along a grid, whether you're walking or you're surfing or you're biking or where you're doing whatever you want to do. But see, the thing is, most of the land routes, at least in this game, try to have something interesting in the way that you navigate them. You know, you'll have trainers in the middle of the route spinning around that you have to time your way around. You'll have ledges that you can either jump off to, to get a fast way around or, or walk around depending on which way you're going through a route. You'll have grass that you can kind of run through or find the most optimal way through to minimize your chances of running th into a Pokemon if you don't have any repels. You'll have cut trees, you'll have rock smash rocks, you might even have a strength boulder, who knows. Here in water, your options are a lot more limited. For one thing, and I think this is the, kind of the biggest thing, is that in water, in these routes, you tend to be able to go in any which way. You can go all the way up, down, left, right, B, A, start. You can't move diagonally in these games, but same, same diff. There's very little limitation on the direction you can go, because they wanted the ocean to feel really open, and I understand that. An open ocean can feel really good in a game like Wind Waker or something, but Wind Waker is fun to control. This is just neutral to control. And in, in the sense of openness, you've, you've removed a lot of the interesting ways to move through an environment. And a lot of the ocean in Hoenn lacks distinctive landmarks to navigate by and, and other complaints. And there are two interesting things they can do. One, they can have dive pools. You can dive into a pool and find a treasure, or you can go a longer route underwater in a more narrowly confined area, which I like. The other thing they can do is have tides, or not tides, currents rather, and you can see this in the route, I believe, leading from Pacific Log to Slateport, and it's actually a puzzle, and it's really engaging to get through. It's frustrating, you basically have to save and reload or else restart the entire thing, and it's really annoying, but there is a possibility for a puzzle and for engaging way of moving through the environment that is just so lacking in most of a region's ocean environments. Now I realize that a lot of people are going to disagree with me and say that I'm wrong and that maybe I'm just a filthy pleb who can't appreciate good game design. I'm sorry, I've played through these games probably upwards of a dozen times. The ocean is never interesting to play through. It may be thematically fitting, it is not fun. Okay? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to care that much. Um, here's my past self. Alright, finally, um... Yeah, those skarmies really pissed me off. Um, anywho, I guess now we'll be heading to the east, since I can't think of anything more that we would do here. So... I will see you next time for the Road to Fortree. See you then.